So beautiful people, my name is Paige Haynes. And if you are receiving this, you have most likely been gifted or bought uh, an alpha pass. And that is our three day AO scan um, pass where that allows you 72 hours to get in and access the technology. Now I wanna keep this as brief um, as possible, but what I really wanted to present to you was a way to get the most out of your um, AO scan alpha pass because um, yeah, you wanna, I guess you wanna explore it and you wanna know exactly what it's capable of. So let's jump in. When you receive your alpha pass, you you will um, receive a login and you can access that on any computer, phone um, and iPad kind of device. Okay, there are some recommendations um, for the age of those things. So they should be fairly modern. Um, I might even pop those specifications in on this video um, down below as well, just so you can be sure you're getting the most out of it. Um, and so the first thing that will happen is it will get you to log in and then you will actually up here it will probably say guest um guest yeah and so the very first thing that you want to do is to actually create a new client so you can just see there so you would say create new client and this is where you would set up your own profile now I'm not going to do it but what I will do is go into mine edit current client you can see a lovely picture of me there <laughs> so you got your name your email address um, your sex, male or female. Now, this also has um, kilograms and pounds as well as inches and centimeters. So depending on what you want, your birth date, lovely picture, which you can upload. And you actually don't need that anymore either. And then you press next. Okay, so then you will be the target person at the top. Now, if you want to add other people in, your family, your friends, your pets, um, you can do all of that from here. Okay, so just create new client. If it is a pet or an animal, you can go in here and you just select this plus button. Now, my internet's going to be a little bit funky on me, isn't it? <laughs> okay, so you can see there I've got some pets in there. And again, it will just ask you the information. For the pet ID, um, you can literally just put, you know, their month and year of birth if you want to. So say it was January 2023, you could put 01. 2023 um, if you don't have an ID like pet ID or registration okay we can come back to that but there is some uh, more information on that um, and yeah so the rest of it spaces and objects you can actually use the scanner to send your house your property uh, your car your what bank account your uh, you can actually start to have a little look at what mine are here um frequencies okay so often um I have a bank account I have my bank cards I have all of these things and I sometimes just send it abundance and it's amazing the miracles that happen when I do that so that's pretty fun as well it's just taking a little while to load this unfortunately um oh there we go probably because I've got so many so you can see in here I have my house there I have my workspace, I have um, a Cephi group. So these are groups that I have sent frequencies to over time. I have my courses. Um, I have all sorts of things in there, family groups, all sorts of things. Okay, so that is um, another option. And um, all you need to do is make sure your profile's up the top and then you add them into your spaces and profiles. Now, if you went into somebody else, if you created another client, say your spouse or your child or something, they won't see those same spaces and objects and they won't see the same pets. Um, that is specifically to you, okay? And that is how the scanner actually reads you okay um so that's all of that information now um some of these scans require your voice actually only one requires your voice and that is called the inner voice now what you do what i would love you to do while you're experimenting with this is on the daily i would do an easy scan okay so you can just click in here and you press start scan Later on down the track, if you decide to go ahead with this, I probably wouldn't recommend, maybe you could actually, um, but you can actually add, add load your supplements in. So up here, we've got supplements and therapies. Um, what I'll get you to do actually while we're here is load up. There are some preloaded things. Okay. So if you go to, I think it's a little blue book. And you can add these to all people. So what you can do is say, select all. Okay, and so this has got um, a lot of things that I've added in there, but it will have all of the Solex products and it will also have all of the homeopathics in there. So you can select all 
and then you can come down. Mine won't select because I've actually got all of this stuff in there already. Uh, I wonder if that is... Actually, no, I tell a lie. Instead of going to that one, we're going to go to the green book. Okay, now this has all of your homeopathics in there. Uh, adrenal thyroid support, these are all things that you can run from the thing. The other one was my personal list. And then you just say add to client. So select all and add to client. So that will mean when you run your easy scan for the day in here, you can actually say show all and you can just say morning, general, evening. I have added therapies and frequencies in there. Um, I would always just go for general. Okay, so let's see what actually, uh, it actually will take a little while to run that. So we're not gonna do that right now, but you press start scan and this is what it will do. So it's gonna tell me to speak into this for 10 seconds. And this is how you do it. So hello, my name is Paige. I live in Australia. I'm having a lovely day and I can't wait to see what my scan says. Okay, now I'm not gonna let it run, but this is how it runs. And it will run through the inner voice you can see here, the vitals and then the comprehensive. Okay, but what I'm gonna do is actually show you mine from this morning. So it will be in enhanced reports. So your, your information will be enhanced reports. So what's happening with these frequencies? It's actually running a scan and then it is running an optimization. Okay, we're working in the quantum field. These are scalar wave frequencies, these are zero point um, frequencies, and they are helping to bring the body back to homeostasis. So the scanner does not diagnose, it does not heal, it does not, it is an educational tool. Okay, so that's how we approach it. That's what we're looking for here. So this is a report that you can see I've done this morning. And this has now given me my inner voice. Now this part in the actual inner voice area, you can actually pull up a report and it will show you all of your um, emotions and all of the things. So I'll show you how to do that individually because each of these scans can be done individually on their own. I'll just show, uh, we'll go back to that and I'll show you that in a second. Okay. So what I would recommend for you to do, you can email this to yourself or you can just, if it's on your phone or whatever, pop in some headphones, okay? And you will listen to this, these frequencies every day. So this is the sound therapy component of the scanner. So I would say 10 minutes and then I like to press auto mix because all of these things, there are different categories, okay? And the scanner can actually pick up what you would be best be hearing for the day by pressing auto mix. So you can just see all of those just changed. Sawtooth is really horrible. So you may want to change that back to triangle or something and just see how you go. But it's also chosen a different music there. So it was on the top one, which is just the standard. It always comes up with that. I would recommend 10 minutes minimum every um, day, 10 minutes morning and night would be amazing. And you just press play. Okay. And this, like I said, Sawtooth is horrible, but the music will start. You can bring that that volume down if you want to, and you can bring that volume up. Now I do this as I go for my morning walk um, and I do 10 minutes out and 10 minutes back and I absolutely love it. Um, so we'll just stop that one for now. Um, and then you come down here, it's telling you which colors for the day. Now in the inner voice scan, which you'll see in a minute, um, there are actually colored glasses that you can wear. But you can actually just wear these colors. They could be underwear. They could be funny. I actually wore a magenta um, crop top this morning. So I must have been in alignment with this. <laughs> um, or you could maybe get some beautiful flowers to put on your desk that day. Or you could just imagine that beautiful color and do a little bit of a color meditation. So there's a lot of different ways to work with it. Don't worry if you don't have the optical glasses. Um, down here, um, it's also done a little quick scan audio. So instead of doing a 10 minute one there, this one has actually just come up with its own little audio. So if you're pressed hard pressed for time and you just want to do a really quick one, you could do that one too. It's not actually playing there for some reason. Hmm. Anyway, that's there. Um, now, these are the interesting things. So you know how I just told you that you could uh, put the homeopathics in? You can actually imprint these into some water 
or if you have homeopathic pillules, you could use them as again, again as well. So what I would do is just put a little shot of water in a little shot glass or some kind of glass. And I would actually be doing that on the screen, okay? Not on the on the computer, because obviously you can't rest a glass on a computer, um, but you literally just put your phone down flat, pop it on, you would press the erase button first, okay? I don't know whether the fractals are gonna work very well on this because we're, um, we're on the computer, but generally, let me see if I can show you what happens. Um, on this one. Anyway, generally it's like a little fire um, fractal and it's erasing any negative energy in that water. And then you imprint, okay? And so you just imprint every single one. Again, I don't, it doesn't work the best on the computer, Ooh, but the sound does. Um, usually there's a beautiful fractal which will come up on your device and that's where you can rest the water. So you can literally just imprint each of these and it's a really quick process, but then you're getting those homeopathics. And what I'd advise, if you have time, go and look at what those homeopathics are about and see whether or not. So for this one, this is actually a, a parasite cleanse. Um, silica, which is, um, yeah, silica, and I don't know what that one is. Echinacea, usually that's for, um, you know, colds and that type of thing. And then we've got Byronia. So when you start to look at those, you can start to see, and these are some of my other um, supplements that I have that I've loaded into my scanner. And so it's telling me to take my pulse today and zinc. And finally, I just went and bought some zinc, actually. Now, when we come down here, this is giving us our vitals report. And I'll show you in a minute the extended vitals report, but when you're doing this on a daily basis, this just gives you the things that are out of balance. So this is your previous scan. So this is the scan part of it, and then it optimizes. Um, and this is what's come up after the optimization. So these are the ones that have stayed out of balance. So you can see here, wheat, soybean, beef, crayfish, all of these things I would wanna be avoiding for today, okay? We've got a bit of problem with my blood lipids, my chakras, were a little bit off so my um third eye and my throat uh, but they have come back into balance so nothing to worry about really there this comes into the meridians um so my stomach meridian my bladder meridian and my small intestine were not happy oh and then we've got <laughs> quite a few meridians out actually but as you can see there is a previous and the current so pretty much all of them other than my pericardium meridian have all come back into balance. Now, if I wanted to check out what the pericardium meridian is about, I would just come down here. And then I might try and explore whether seeing life as pressure, poorly shielded from your own or others' negative emotions, like hurt, regret, and jealousy, also sexual tension. Hmm. Um, also the pericardium here, it's about the protective fibrous sac around the heart, blood pressure, blood circulation, chest pain and pressure, spasm, libido, heart shield, physical and emotional, okay? So if I wanted to explore that a little bit better and to think about how I could be actually supporting myself a little bit better through the day because that one is still a little bit low, that's how you would do it, okay? And that might start to make a bit of sense to you as you read those different things. Um, and like I say, I wouldn't necessarily focus on the ones that have come back into balance, but because that one stayed out of balance, I might take a little bit more of a look. And if you muscle test, you can actually muscle test. Is it a physical problem here or is it an emotional, all right? And then is there something you can do to clear those emotions? Of course, the inner voice is all about clearing the emotions. Um, so listening to that one might be a really great option. And I can show you the extended inner voice report soon as well as the extended um, vitals. So if we come down here, we can see there's a little bit of cortisol dysfunction, um, per gastric peristalsis, a few digestive acids and enzymes that have stayed out for today. Um, yeah, and you know some allergens and toxins, all of these things here. So you can see why that parasite one had come up for me um, because there's quite a few that are showing out at the moment. So it's something that I probably need to look into. So then down here, the comprehensive report is actually about the physical structure of the body. Um, and let's see if the the rectum shows up because it usually does just to be embarrassing but right here you can do a table report or an image report it's on the image report right now but if you do the table report it actually shows you what's in the red now all of these will be in the red because it's only showing up the things that stayed red after we did the scan and then the optimization so these are the things that i need to pay attention to today so the hippocampus campus and fornix and the globus pallidus of lentiform nucleus don't know what any of them are, but there you go. And the sacrum. Now, 
calcification of the sacrum came up up here as well see so that might be something that I need to look further into probably to look at maybe a little bit of chiropractic I have noticed my pelvis has been a little bit out uh, and then we've got a chromosome so telomere and we've got the right trochlea in the eye um, and so I wouldn't necessarily do too much about that however if I had the same thing showing up so for instance with these foods if these foods kept showing up day after day as you're doing your three days then you might start to take a bit more notice of it. But don't worry about every single little thing that comes up. Just be observant and see, because we usually say the scanner takes a little while to get to know you. And um, there could be a lot of things out of range and then a lot of things that come back into range, but it's the things that are consistently out and keep showing up. So for instance, that zinc has shown up for me over the last... I can't even remember now, probably three weeks. So I actually was somewhere today and I went, I need to get some zinc and I've gotten it and, you know, I'll start to take that and then I'll notice that, that it will shift and stop, you know, coming up. So it's not like you have to be like, oh no, I can't eat any of these foods anymore. Oh no, I can't. Like for instance, beef, I've been eating a lot of, okay. Um, and so that's why it's probably showed up. Now, the other thing to note is see up here, it says diminishing function risk and increasing inflammation risk. This can also mean acute and this can also mean chronic. Okay, so this is a way to look at them. Now, I get questions all the time. Does it mean I'm having too much? Does it mean I'm having too little? You know, what is it? We have to think of it like perhaps this is causing inflammation in the body, which beef would be, right? Um, or it's actually having taking a toll on the body, so it's making the body sluggish. And in kinesiology, we use the terms over-energy and under-energy, okay? So this would be over-energy, more in that inflammation risk area, and this would be under-energy, okay? And now it depends on then what you're looking at. So if you're looking at a food and it's in that under area, then that means it might be making me feel a bit sluggish, okay? Um, if it's in the over, it means that it's either acute, so it's something that I've been having too much of maybe, um, and it's just a temporary thing or um, it's causing inflammation in the body. So there's a few different ways to read it. If you have muscle testing, you can confirm those things as you go along. You are not going to understand everything about the scanner in this three days, okay? There is a lot to learn. It comes with training. It comes with this whole university suite, which is amazing. So if you do decide to sign up, you get instant access to the basic training and then there's extra trainings you can take on top of it. And so please don't get overwhelmed by the information that you're receiving and please don't panic um, because some people do, um, but that's not what this is about. It's an educational tool. And when we start to see patterns showing up, um, and I'll show you some things in mine as we go along um, that I, you know, I see consistently and then I get help with, if that makes sense. All right. So we did that easy scan. That is what I want you to do every single day. Okay. As a bare minimum and listen to your inner voice tunes. Um, now, if you want to dive a little bit deeper, once you've done your easy scan, you can actually go into this inner voice area. Now you can run an inner voice scan just from here and it will just take your voice. When you do that, please click on this one. And again, you will speak into it for 10 seconds and you will start with hi, I'm, and your name, okay? But what the cool thing is here, you can actually come down here because it's already run one for today for me and you can look at the report. And the report is very, very interesting. If you haven't already received one of these, um, Definitely have a read of this because it is, um, it's super cool. Now, I have had so many testimonials um, with like, oh my God, that is so spot on for me. So it tells me what my high frequencies are and my low frequencies. And what happens with the inner voice, it's actually, and if you read all of this, you'll understand it. But basically it's reading the different octaves in your voice and it's showing you what is out of balance. And like I just said, the highest frequencies and then the one lowest frequency. And then it tells you the uh, corresponding emotions that might be going on for you. Now, these are just the generic ones. Beautiful to read through, excellent to read through. Um, so you can see that my supportive note was A sharp and my note that they picked that was picked up on was E. Okay. So that was the high frequency in the voice recording that they had from me. Supportive color with magenta. So magenta supports feelings about the future, grounding, calming, and encourages spiritual enlightenment. And up here we see self-critical versus self-accepting. And that is bang on for me right now. I'm 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 traveling through this eclipse season. We're right in the middle of it. And that is what is coming up massively for me right now. So we've got hardness, mental block, and lack of confidence. And I'm you know, I'm being completely just transparent here that that is so true for me right now. Um, it's affecting my spleen, my thymus and coenzyme Q10. So I may want to have a little look at that. Um, I never really look at these potential causes because it freaks people out and they see hepatitis and malaria and all of these things. 
just disregard that. It's picking up on those frequencies as a problem. And I, you know, I don't have those things. It's never saying that it's never diagnosing me that I have them. It means that those things have been in my energy field and that I, you know, potentially are having an effect on my energy. Now I can tell you straight up that usually when hepatitis or one of these comes up, it's vaccinations. So I had my hep hepatitis B and all the rest of vaccinations. And it's saying for whatever reason, that's having an effect on me. Malaria, I have traveled quite extensively in my life. And yes, I've definitely come across malaria. It's been in my energy field before. And it may be at the moment too. We're in very sticky, hot weather. Um, you know, it could, it could be. And in terms of hookworm, well, you know, who knows, right? Um, okay, but it doesn't need to be present either. So you know that I just mentioned a couple of past things there. So these frequencies can be past present or developing okay so the number of time flus come up and then someone's like the next day down with the flu so just be aware of that it may not be right in the here and now okay so but I, what I do want you to pay attention to is this imbalances and suggestions so it's picking up on my spine it's telling me some things I can do here to correct that it's my lymphatic system and what it's saying is these emotions are having an impact on these parts of my body Okay, and this is why we listen to our inner voice tunes to help to shift that. So we've got respiratory system, we've got lymphatic system, and then I might choose a couple of these things over the next three days because I've got the alpha pass to improve upon. And what I like to do is you can see here, I've got increased trace minerals, increased trace minerals, and I need to do that actually. Um, so that's probably something that I'm gonna hone in on in the next couple of days. Then we've got emotionally disconnected versus emotionally integrated. I'm gonna read this in the same way. So you can see these are the organs that it's affecting. So I can see I don't know why there's a man in it. <laughs> um, yeah, so we've got digestion, the endocrine system and the respiratory, which is all of these things, right? Um, and again, we've got rejection, relationship conflict, communication conflict, um, colon absorption, folate, all of these things. There you go. Psychosis, which is gonorrhea, which is a miasm. Um, yeah. But again, just disregard those for now because they can, like you can see, they're, they're a little bit scary. Um, digestion, again, increased trace minerals, uh, improved sleep. I had the worst night's sleep last night. Again, Good season. I was up at 3.30 this morning. So, um, and then we've got respiratory as well. And it's telling me all of these different things. Now, chiropractic's come up a few times there. And remember what I said before when I saw the vitals about my sacrum, that yeah, it's probably what I'm needing at the moment. So we've got angry versus accepting of change. Um, again, it's that red color I can use. Anger, disappointment, nervous exhaustion can definitely um, relate to the nervous exhaustion at the moment. So we've got pancreas, nervous system, and digestive system, okay? So we, we're seeing a pattern here, okay? And, that, and then a pattern with the things that I can be doing to support myself. Repetitive thinking versus creative thinking. Now, this is the last one, okay? Now, this is our deepest, darkest one, and it's one of the ones that we may not be consciously aware of. It's of, often a subconscious pattern that's running. Um, and here we have fear, irritability, and fear of failure. And we're, it's affecting the heart, the kidneys, and the muscles of the neck, shoulders, and arms. Um, and it's given me some suggestions to do there. So that will be an amazing thing for you to check out every single day, see what's showing up, listen to your tunes. Um, you can email these to yourself. And if you want to run, this is a beautiful one to run for others as well. You can email it to them because all of their details were in when you set them up as a client. And you just have to make sure that they are the client. If you want to... Um, search for a client you just say search existing clients okay and then in here I would just put the last name or the first name because otherwise if you type it slightly wrong or whatever um, so for instance if I'm looking for one of my boys I would just put wood and all the woods in my thing have come up okay and then I can just go and I can click on that person to change who, who it is that I'm working with all right so before we saw the vitals now this will be you can do a scan and an optimize in here as well, and you can deselect or select all. Um, it will only let oh, it will let you scan yourself once, but then it will let you optimize yourself several times during the day. So you can do that as well. But what I wanted to show you that report that I had in the easy scan is actually in full in this one. Okay, so if we go down here, you'll start to see some of the food sensitivities that showed up for me. So wheat was one of them, soybean, but you see that the easy scan only gave us the condensed version. Okay, because you can see this report is 
huge. And again, you can be emailing this to yourself. That's totally fine. But this gives the extended version. So what you can do, what I like to do, is to look at the different sections. So you can see here there's a few amino acids out. So I might think, hmm, wonder what's going on with my digestion because amino, like so many amino acids are out. Um, and again, yeah, digestive acids, enzymes, not too many on that side, but a couple have shown up once we've done the thing. And that can happen too, right? So sometimes they'll be in the clear over here, but then they will turn up. So you can see that ghrelin was three, but over here it's turned up as one because after the optimization, it's realized that that's actually a problem for me. Okay, so you may see a bit of that happening. Again, just to email you, just literally click there and press send and that will turn up in your email and you can add an email recipient as well. So I recommend keeping a log of this when it sends it to you. It actually has a um, Excel spreadsheet. You could actually put them side by side to monitor what happens over the three days if you want to. Okay, so that is very, very extensive. Please, again, like I said, don't get freaked out. It's not worth getting freaked out over. When you start to see patterns and things, you can start to take some action, but this is an educational tool and it's also helping to bring the body back into homeostasis. All right, the comprehensive we touched on before as well. Again, if you go into, um, if you've already run a inner voice on its own and a vitals on its own, you can go into combined because what it will do and this is what happened for me this morning, it selected all of the things that it thought was a problem. Now, if you have a particular area that is a problem, you can deselect all of these and you can go in and just choose the parts. So I have a son who had an earache one day. So I just went in and chose everything related to ears. Okay, so that was the nerves in the head and the actual ear and um, the skull and all sorts of different things. And then I literally press scan and then optimize. So you can do that if you have, you know, a part of your body that you're interested in knowing about and don't want to do the whole lot, you can do that. But again, the reports are here. And this is now the full report instead of just that, that condensed report from the easy scan. But you can see here, it can be a little bit overwhelming. And so that's why the easy scan is really good. This percent from ideal, Okay, so this is the previous and then this is the current. And you can see the percent from ideal usually goes down, which is what we want. So 40 down to 35, um, 42 down to 33. Now, if that's up in the 50s or 60s, we know we have a problem. So let me have a look and see, ooh, it was close to 50 there. Um, and that's my stomach. And that actually showed up in a couple of different ways, didn't it, um, in my other scans. But most of these have come back into alignment really well. So you could take... Um, Okay, not my left ear though. You can see it was 20% and now it's gone to 30. So that's not ideal. Um, so I might be a little bit alert to the fact that something's going on with my left ear as well as some of these chromosomes here as well, which is really interesting. Chromosome nine was 45 and it's gone down to 32. Um, I don't know a lot about the chromosomes, so um, I would have to probably dive a little bit deeper into that. But anyway, that's there. And again, you can email that to yourself as well. Um, okay. Now for the fun ones. This is the body systems. This is really cool. I'm not going to scan and optimize, but you could do that. You can deselect all. What I love in this one is the hormones particularly, but this will do all of your body systems. Okay. So I would recommend that you do this also. So easy scan, this one, and then this report, um, because this is giving you a beautiful all over body as well okay with the frequencies um and what i wanted to show you here is all of the reports are really similar um in the body systems and so you can go in and read them and they're a little bit like the um in a voice report okay and it's going to show you the circulatory body it will tell you what's acute and what's chronic um circulatory vitals so what might be going on there Again, causes, please don't freak out about those. Remember that I've said they can be passed, they can be developing. Um, you can also pick up frequencies from other people. I didn't say this in the inner voice, but some of those emotions weren't mine, okay? Some of them are what I'm around right now. So whether it's my partner or my kids or just a circumstantial situation, work people, whatever. Um, if you're in it, they you'll be picking up on it. And you know that yourself. You walk into a room and the energy's off, you can feel it straight away. Um, okay, so these are the emotional causes, right? And then again, how you can be supporting your circulatory system, manage stress, increase minerals, Solex Prime. So that's something that I take, the DT3K2, which I take anyway. Um, and then that will go through for all of the different ones. And it tells you about where the connective tissues are, all of those things. So that's really, really cool. Okay, 
but what I wanted to show you was the hormones because it's my new favorite thing and it's been added recently. And I can almost guarantee you I will have thyroid hormones off. <laughs> Let's see. Um, okay, estrogen. Okay, so we're looking. Yep, there you go, T4. So you're looking for anything above minus plus or minus 40%. That's where they're saying that this is the range is. So we've got a, a minus 58%. We've got a minus 44%. And can I tell you, I was in getting my hormones, uh, a blood test done today to check all of this stuff out and to start taking some action on it because it's turned up so many times. So that's an example of me following what's actually coming up. And some it's not always T4 for me. Sometimes it's TSH, sometimes it's that. And, you know, so yeah, it's um, it's just a lovely indicator. And now I can take some action on what's been coming up. Okay, so you can just do your hormones for the day as well in that. And so that was body systems. Um, okay, these two will be grayed out for you. I've done some extra training in there, but there is a, these are things you can get later on once you've done the training. This next one is also extremely cool. Um, let me just show you what mine sync quickly because Sefi takes a little while. All right, so in here, this is super, super cool. And if you have time for this, I would recommend you do this as well. Um, you can either choose some affirmations that you feel would match you right now. If you have your own affirmations, you can record them or you can scan yourself to see what affirmations you need right now. Now, this morning, evening affirmations came up for me. And you know what? I just did them. And um, it was pretty cool. Okay, so affirmations for self-confidence. And I would say, yes, that's probably something I need right now. So then what you can do, you can change your music here and you can change it after the fact as well. Um, I like effervescent. Um, and then you say, you press record custom affirmation. And I've got 94 seconds. I am confident in my abilities and skills. And you just record yourself saying this. I am deserving of love, respect, and admiration. So it just rolls on. Okay. Now, if you have your own, and when you're finished, you just click here. If you have your own affirmations, you can go into any one of these. I would say don't do the custom because usually it'll take more than 60 seconds, but um, the health ones that gives you like 300 and something seconds. So they're the best ones to actually go through and just read out your affirmations for the day. Okay. So you press record and then press record again when you're done. And then it gives you this. I don't know if you'll be able to hear it, but it's basically music with the um, your voice. Okay. So you can do these in the morning. I would definitely recommend that. And I've got 94 I seconds. I am confident in my abilities and skills. Can you just and so headphones on. I am deserving of love, respect, and admiration. Right, so headphones on. And then this little thing is very, very cool because you can play with whether it's high, medium, or low. This is the offset hertz. And you want it, look, in the mornings, generally it's high for me, so I don't really even play with it anymore because I've learned that for me. But it will be, it will sound like it's in the center of your head. Okay, so the, these other ones will sound slightly off, but you'll know the sweet spot and you can just play with that on your screen and it will keep playing. Now, don't go out of that screen or you will lose it, but you can email it to yourself as an MP4 and you can get that and you can play it. You can add it to your Spotify and stuff. I would recommend actually repeating the affirmations daily though, because that's there's also power in your voice in actually speaking affirmations and recording it at the same time and then listening to it back. So I said earlier that I go for my 10 minute walk. I do my tunes on the way out, my inner voice, and then I record some affirmations and I listen to those on the way back. And that's my daily routine, as well as having done the easy scan, which, which scans my whole body. Okay, so that's another, and the changes people have had, oh my goodness, with just that, it's been phenomenal. All right, now for the crowning jewel, which is the um, the Sefi playlist. Now, you can create custom play playlists um, these are our quantum frequencies that we can broadcast or imprint into water. Like I said before, jewelry or whatever the heck you want, you can imprint anything. We have little um, frequency patches that you can, they're called Sephi dots, um, which you can put on the body. I re recently just sent some out to a horse actually, um, to help with it's having some issues. Um, and that means it's a wearable for three days um, as well. So this is great for clients and things if you want people to be supported. In here, we have a heap of um, playlists, okay? So these are all the different frequencies that we can choose from. Now, these, this one, quantum frequency, is all about physical symptoms. So you can just go through 
and search what you're looking for. Some of them are a little bit odd. So sometimes you have to look a little bit harder than you would think. It's not necessarily logical, but I don't know how you make it logical either. Um, we've got quantum affirmations in here. So accelerated learning, addiction, relationship enhancement. You could make a, a weight management list for yourself. Um, I have a sleep list. In fact, I'll show you my list very shortly. Um, and then we have quantum flowers. Now in these ones, actually, did I show you that one back there? Let me just see. In quantum affirmations, I can actually scan myself to find out what I need. So if you just want to keep it at its basic form, which you may want to, you might just find out that you need ooh, allergy vaccinations in there. What was I saying about the hepatitis B just before in my report? Continuous broadcast, you can do a little imprint um, or you can um, do a two minute broadcast. So, uh, you know, you just press that and that broadcasts to my field because I am the target here. OK, if I was to select one of my dogs or a space, an object, then that that frequency would be going to them. And I can also just stop that now. I can also choose one of them to find out. So let's see what my property needs. Uh, because I've already scanned, it won't let me scan again. I probably have to come back and out and come back in again because we've just done one. Um, but that is what you can do with that now. Um, also with quantum flowers. So we have bush flower essences. Oh, look, we can scan for the for the house now because that's now the target. Um, so I'm scanning what it needs and it's going to bring me up a flower and an emotion. And these are beautiful to do the flowers. Here we go. Loneliness. Oh, we're moving back into our house this week. So maybe that's it. Little or no patience with others. Prefer to work alone. An impatient attitude and persistent stress. Oh, so we need to send our, our beautiful home that little um, frequency there. Okay, so if you're at a loss and you're not sure what to do, you can always run the frequencies. Now, chakras as well. So I want to change this back to me and see what chakra comes up. Bearing in mind that earlier today, um, my throat and my third eye were the ones that were a little bit off. So it'll be interesting to see. Yeah, throat chakra, there you go. So that would be what I would run for myself. Again, two minute broadcast, or you can say continuous broadcast and run it for however long you want. Now my throat's actually getting a little bit um, dry with all this talking. Okay, um, we've got homeopathics in here. The beautiful thing about this is we have homeopathic cell salt and no soaps. So if you go there, you can drop down, you can see all the homeopathics and you can go into cell salts and you can choose those and no soaps. If you don't know anything about these, it's totally fine because then you can come into by symptom and you can select what it is. So allergies, vaccines, let me go there because this is the next one that I can, uh, I don't even know if it's got vaccines in there. Let's say allergies general because, and what I can then do, is scan myself to find out which of these, so watch in here, which of these homeopathics is what I actually need. Because with homeopathics, there's a lot of different choices and a lot of different symptoms. So now, I don't know if you saw that, but it changed. So I know that phosphorus and the sanguine la 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 la, la is by the top two. And I could go and then make myself another playlist to put those on, or I could literally just broadcast that to myself or imprint it into my water and take that as a homeopathic remedy okay so that is super cool I don't know how much time you'll get to play with this but what I would recommend that you do is if you're having like okay when I first got the scanner my son walked in and he had tummy pain and he's rolling around on the ground and I was like oh my god and the first thing that came up was abdominal pain so I popped him in and I pressed abdominal pain and I pressed go literally before it was finished 30 seconds he got up out of the off the floor and walked out of the room so when you're trying to build, when you're trying to build your trust in this and to see what's going on, if you've got anything acute, like a sore back or a sore shoulder or a sore tummy or a whatever, or you're feeling like crap and you just want to, you know, you can go back to the emotional ones. I've got a feel good playlist. Okay. Go and do something that you will see the difference with. That is always my advice with this, particularly when you've only got it for three days. Okay. Cause you want to build, um, trust in it okay because that's that was the first thing that I wanted to do as soon as I saw that and then I had oh gosh I put it out on Facebook and ran a heap of scans like 60 scans for people it was in the middle of lockdown and I just got message after message after message of, of how spot on it was and nobody knew how to read their reports because I didn't know how to read their reports they were like oh my god um you know the inner voice was spot on the other thing and, and it was nothing like it is today like it was so basic 
back then compared to what we have today um, that I knew straight away that it was it was amazing. Um, but you've got to get your own proof and that's how this sort of works, right? Um, all right, in here, these are the ones that I would say just be a little bit careful with. There's a lot of support ones, which are fine, but these detox ones. So you notice before I had a... Um, verma plus detox which was a um, parasite one you don't want to run them for any extended period of time okay so you wouldn't want to put a detox one on a sleep program that you're going to run overnight okay i've made that mistake and i've woken up hungover like feeling really hungover um the detox ones are extremely extremely um powerful okay you only need i would even just go two minutes of them um, at a time um, just to remind the body that that's what it needs to be doing to detox, okay? Um, but, you know, there is so many. There's neuroendocrine support. There's nerve ease. There's so many different things in here that you can be using, okay, if you choose to. But, again, just be very careful with those detox ones. Um, all right, this is Cephi dots. So they were the little dots that I told you about before. So they're a frequency patch almost, and you can imprint those. So these have their own little list as well, which have been specific um, programs that have been made up just for that. Um, and you can imprint those as well. You probably won't do too much of that because you don't have Cephi dots. This is very cool. <clears throat> So this is AO Tune, and this is all of our beautiful tuning forks. So it's pretty much every single tuning fork you can find out on the market. And um, again, you can scan yourself. So let's just see what comes up for me. And literally, you're just going to press play with this, and it's going to send those frequencies, emit the tone. So it's talking about the human um, frequency in the binaural tones here that I need. Now, I can choose here 30 seconds or two minutes or five minutes, and I press emit tone. Now, that's a really low. It's not actually picking up. I don't know if you can hear that, but it's a really low tone <clears throat> and so low frequency. So I could actually pop my device on my belly or I can just sit in front of it. Um, there are some little transducers that the company have now, so you can place them on the body like a tuning fork. Um, but of course, you won't have those at this point in time either. That's something to keep in mind. And this is phenomenal. I'm a kinesiologist. I have two sets of forks that each cost me around about $1,000 each. So for the fact that these are now in here, um, so portable, and amazingly effective and I can just carry around two little dots if I want to to emit those you know and I can run these for anyone anywhere anytime okay so that's very very cool um and this final one is multicast and I don't think we'll go into this but just know if you do go ahead with a scanner this allows you to run um multiple Cephis for a for um groups of people so this is my immediate family and what we would do here is we would scan and you would find out what flower. And the flower is there to help bring down the defences. So sometimes when we're receiving frequencies, there might be something blocking it. And this is saying that procrastination, it keeps coming up for him, is blocking my son in whatever he's doing. So I might enter an affirmation and say, I am confident in my abilities and move forward with ease and grace, okay? Then I can come in here and select from all of my beautiful playlists in here. So I mentioned that I had a sleep one. We're just about to start an abundance one. We have a highest potential. We have a weight management. And these, like this just goes on and on and on. These are all of my clients, you know, that I've done things for over the time. So I would choose, so my son's name's Elijah. So I might choose his back, his broken toe, his eye, his foot, his headache. <laughs> and they're all the, the playlists for him there. And I can literally play those. Now I can go through for every single person in here and choose different playlists for them and play them all at once. And that means everybody is receiving these beautiful broadcasted frequencies. Now, like I say, I'm not going to go too much into detail. This is a little bit advanced, but it's an amazing feature. So if you do go ahead with the scanner, um, then, you know, it's an amazing, uh, ugh, phenomenal. It's changed my world because I send frequencies to clients a lot. So it's been amazing. Um, okay, so I will go back and show you just quickly how to make a custom playlist in case you want to do that with the Cephi. So custom playlist, what you do is just press plus and then you name it. Okay, it's taking a little time. Okay, so then you would put your playlist name. Um, I've got a lot of testing ones in there, but let's just do another one. Testing, testing. Okay, so now what you do is you come here and you says you click on the heading and it drops it down. 
But say I want to put energetic clearing, love, forgiveness, and gratitude, and sleep well in there out of that list, okay? Now, you have 15 frequencies you can choose from. I've just chosen three, and you can see that the, the limit's up the top there. So then I would click back on that, and I might say quantum frequencies. Oh, I've got a bit of tummy pain. I might want to go for a back pain one. Let's go with uh, colon inflammation and hormonal. Let's go with hormonal. I just saw that up here somewhere. So you do have to kind of look through alphabetically. This one's not exactly... Um, as intuitive as it could be. Um, quantum affirmation. So say I might want to put mastering stress in there, um, success and unlimited creativity. And so as it goes on, quantum chakras. So for me, the throat chakra was out. Um, I might want to put on that quantum flower of impatience for my home that you saw before. So it's got all of these in, and they're in alphabetical order. So that's nice and easy. Um, and then I might want to do uh what are these ones let's say adrenal thyroid support okay so that's my beautiful list and then i would come up here and press save always remember to press save now because i'm the target i can literally broadcast that to myself if i wanted to imprint that list it's getting a little bit technical but if you wanted to imprint that list you can imprint that into water you can imprint it into your clothes you can imprint it into your jewelry um homeopathic pillules, tinctures, whatever you want to do, your, your um, supplements for the day, you could literally pop them on top. The way you would do that, though, is press simultaneous. Okay, you don't send it to yourself through simple simultaneous on continuous because it's too much. You'll be like, I, I find that anyway. And then Okay, but that's how you would do it. And it would imprint whatever it is for 20 seconds. You don't have to have the sound on either when you're sending those. So if I'm sending people frequencies from my computer, I just turn the sound off. You do not need to hear them. And of course, if the person is not you, um, they're not here anyway, so they're not hearing them. So the only ones you need to hear are the ones that sound good, which is the music, the AO, mind sync, you know, those ones. They're the only ones that you need to physically hear. Okay, so this has been a massive brain dump on you. Um, if you have questions, go back to wherever it is it's issued you the Alpha Pass. They will be able to help you. You will have questions. The other thing I'll just show you super, super quick is um, when you are in these, you can quest, click, uh, click this little question mark and it will tell you all of the information about it. Okay, so it gives you some little instructions and things there. Okay, so um if you want to know more that's what you do and I think it gives you a little video too my internet's not great but um yeah so it'll tell you give you a little tutorial okay so if you get stuck and you're like oh what did Paige say about that um you can literally come up here and it will give you the instructions oh there it does it gives you a little video as well that you can watch okay so that is there in all of these things I probably should have told you that first so you didn't have to watch this whole thing but anyway same with comprehensive all of them okay so just that little question mark up the top there and that will tell you what to do with it all right well thank you very much i hope you enjoy your scanner journey it is oh my gosh it's changed my life it really has i um yeah i'm a practitioner and i use it in my clinic um i, I use it every day for myself my self-care is just phenomenal now because of it and um i use it for my kids and my family so Enjoy. If you have any questions, please come back to either myself if I've, I've sent you your pass or whoever it was that helped you out. Um, and they'll be more than happy to answer your questions and, and run you through all the other information about it. Okay, bye for now and have a beautiful evening.